Hi, I'm going to demonstrate my summer internship project. We are going to play tic-tac-toe with a computer using a camera. We will need an A4 paper and a blackish pen. Any pen is great, but it should be dark colored. All right, let's get into the demonstration. So this version of the game is so slow that it takes time to process the images, but I will Anyway, show you how it works. I need a grid. Um, something like that. And I prepared some X's and O's. In order to not draw the same thing again and again. Uh, let's start with an O. It actually can um, process the image around here. Yeah, I clicked it. But sometimes it can't, so it's, it's unreliable in that sense. So. So this is the end of the, this demonstration. Hi, I'm back with the second demonstration. This is a little bit faster, but it still uses a lot of CPU power. I think I really need to learn the GPU computing. It uses 92% of CPU then. It is a lot, so I shouldn't be doing that at all. Right, hi. Mm -hmm. Hello, this is the second demonstration. I still record this with my camera because I try to make a screen recording, but but this app takes a lot of CPU power and it wasn't compatible. So let's start with the next. Oh, we forgot that. But you see, it works. Analyze. All right, let's start. Here in this game. Ah, I can't see. All right, it's nice. This is faster. Yay, it's a tie game. All right, let's do it again. I will be all in this one. to see
It's again a tie game. Let's play another. I will be again the next. Hopefully I will start first. I didn't start first. Another tie game. I will again be an X, but this time I will try to be. Yes! Just for it. And another tie game. Lastly, I will be off. Alright, this time I will play with the pen. Will be X. I think this was faster than the before, but of course the requirements change. Let's change the pen and see what happens. Right. I have a black pen, a grey pen, a green pen. Let's go with the green one. Let's be an O.
that's it. Let's do something else. I will use a gray pen and a black pen. Okay. I will use grey grid ones and black grid for the other. Still works nice. Let's try this one. Nope. No. No light colors. No light colors. There is something wrong with the computer's decision making process. It blocks me, but it could also win. It's my mistake. I was in the way of this. It will block me again. Yep. Too bad. Too bad. Sorry for this. That's all right. All right, this is an optional part. I'm not going to demonstrate anything else, but I will talk with myself. What did I learn in this project? And where can I use these skills? You don't have to watch it at all. So I mostly learned about basic image processing techniques, but they were really, really basic that they are not really used anymore. But it was important for me to understand how it works in terms of linear algebra. So I learned about the basic image processing techniques. I didn't use them all. I just I just used very, very basic morphological operations like dilation, opening and closing mask, erosion. And I used half transform. I was going to use something else like masking the image, segmenting the image, but I didn't. I, oh. It would be nice if I I, I used that. You know, it would be nice, but I didn't use them anyways. So I used these techniques and I also used the properties of these like centroids. I didn't use that centroid. I was going to use it. calculating the lengths, calculating the bounding boxes, connected component analysis. I learned those and I think that this project was very very basic in terms of image processing so it doesn't contain you know sophisticated techniques and it doesn't also contain anything related to deep learning machine learning open computer vision it doesn't utilize those it would be nice if I would use at least optical character recognition because in the first week I spent all of my time to read about those as I couldn't really work with GPU. MATLAB doesn't 
recognized my GPU and that's sad. Anyways, that's it. It's now very brilliant, but it works and I learned a lot. I think it was a part of the internship. I remember my last internship, I was working on a toy guitar project with my friend and we really came up with very very basic toy. It would just detect the touch and make a sound, but we worked hard for a month. We learned how not to do this guitar toy, really. But we also learned the possible version of the toys, so it was nice, but you know, the result was, was so bad. I don't know, I, I still, I learned something. I think I'm going to use these because I was planning to learn also machine learning to make it compatible with animation, but I just didn't know how to start. I didn't know about image processing also. So right now I got an idea about how to move on for those dreams. The result is, is bad, but I learned a lot and I think that was the, the most important thing that I can get. I've been doing all my projects as a game, um, except the magnetics project, but I hate magnetics, sorry. I have an idea how image processing works, even how deep learning works, because I spend my whole week learning about those. Anyways, I think that's nice, really, to have an idea at least. So if you know me, I'm not studying electronics to be an engineer at all. Um, I, I, I don't like, I don't like industrial projects at all, but I will be doing some in this year. Anyways, I believe that I can use these skills inside the animation computing. Um, I'm glad, really, thank you. All right, that's it. If you have any feedback, I would really appreciate it. Please let me know. I leave my mail in the description. <gasps> Goodbye.